Hello guys, this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. So hope everyone is enjoying my tutorial. So in this uh, video, I'm going to show you how we can make a modeling uh, of this uh, particular example. So we are going to do it in uh, part modeling by, uh, you know, have with the help of uh, uh, drawing what we have. So without wasting time, so let's get started. So now what I'll do is I'll just go to part and new file. So yeah, I'll just keep it as it is and I'll just click OK. So now uh, here is our uh, you know, coordinate system. So now this is the drawing for this. So you can see all the dimensions that are mentioned in uh, in MM. So let us assume that uh, as an MM and we can start uh, doing modeling for this. So now uh, what I'll do is I'll just go to sketch environment on uh, this particular plane. Okay, so here I'm going to draw a circles. So now as you can see here, <clears throat> these are the circles 19 diameter and 30 diameter. So these two diameters and the, and whatever uh, the, you know, um, square we have here. So this square also we, here, we are going to draw in this uh, sketch. So let me go to circle and my first circle is of diameter uh, 19. Okay, so let's fit this and now now the next diameter is of 30 mm so let us go to 30 mm here okay and also uh, you can see here for 30 mm we have a slot here so this slot i'm going to create with a 5 mm and from the center it is 12.5 mm so let us go to the rectangle here so this is the easy way how we can you know create a you know slot so go to rectangle and just draw a rectangle rough rectangle row here I'll just switch off this uh, auto dimensions and now let me give the dimension for this so this is 5 mm as per the drawing okay and then it should be symmetric so go to make symmetric and these two lines make symmetric with this and now let me give the dimension for this so hit d and uh, the dimension between these two will be 12.2 okay so now whatever the extra lines is there just uh, trim them with the t command so uh, just uh, trim them okay so now as you can see here our sketch is fully constrained now so whatever that we have drawn everything is completely defined so now what i'll do is uh, we have an uh, you know square here so this is a square with a 65 mm of each side so let us draw that uh, so what i'll do is i'll just go to from center so this is my center and this is the rectangle sorry square so let me give the dimension for this so this is 65 mm on each side so this is also 65 mm okay so now it is perfectly square so and also we have uh, you know the arc here with a 41 radius so this radius in all the sides so what we do is uh, we'll draw a circle with a diameter of uh, 41 multiplied by 2 okay so now whatever the extra lines are there we are going to trim them hit t for a quick trim and these are not required for us so we are going to trim them okay so now we can see here sketch is constrained with the two other dimensions so let us see what are those other dimensions so you can see this dimension is pending okay so what we can do is okay so this dimension is missing so what i'll do is i'll go to dimension and the distance between these two will be whatever the 65 divided by 2 okay so now one more is left so let me give this dimension now so this is also 65 by 2 okay so now you can see the our sketch is fully constrained so now what I will do is I will just uh, finish the sketch and let me fit this so you can see. So now let me go to extrude. So what I will do is I will just make an extrude for this circle. So this, circles will, uh, this circle will have an extrude of uh, 70.5. So now as you can see here in the drawing, we have 70.5 here. So let us go to symmetric and give 70.5. Okay. So click finish. And also we have this whatever the you know square. So let us see how much is the width for that. 
so you can see here 37.5 sorry 34.5 is the width of that particular square so go to extrude and so go to uh, select this now what i'll do is i'll just go to connected curves and select this so that all the connected curves will be selected so let me go to symmetric and value will be 34.5 so it should be uh, keep it as none or else we can just unite them with that so let me keep it as it is okay so now what i'll do is uh, the next will be so now i'm going to make a sketch of this nine uh, you can see here nine diameter of uh, you know slot so for that i'll just go to sketch element on this particular plane and here i'm going to draw a circle okay with nine mm diameter and also a lines here which is tangent to this circle okay now let me draw one more line here to close this profile and trim these extra lines okay so now uh, we need to provide a dimension for this so now if you go here so from this center line uh, there is a 46 of uh, diameter so it means it is 46 divided by 2 so from this to this it is 46 divided by 2 and now we can see here there is one auto dimension which is a length of this so let me give one dimension to this in order to complete constraint so 44 okay so now the sketch is fully constrained so if you want you can just trim this extra line or else we can keep it as it is and later we can select the outer profile so i'll just show you how we can do that i'll just uh, go to revolve and single curve and stop at intersection and now what i'll do is i'll just make this static wireframe so now let me select this okay and now my vector is along this direction and point will be on this okay so now uh, this should be subtracted from the body from this body so i'm just going to subtract it so now as you can see here it has been subtracted okay so we don't need this sketch so let me hide this sketch so now uh, you can see here there is a slot over here so this slot i'm going to do it so for this slot the dimensions are given over here you can see 40.5 and uh, this is 8 mm so let me draw that so go to sketch environment on this particular plane and now what i'll do is i'll just draw a line here and this line should be here so this point should be you know um in uh, touches with whatever the point we have here and then now let me close this profile okay so now let me give the uh, dimension so this dimension is 40.5 so now as you can see here this is 40.5 and this depth is 8 mm so let me give 8 mm as a depth between this point line to this line it is 8 mm so now you can see here there is one more auto dimension that is left so that is because you can see this one so what we can do is we can just make symmetric to this so these two should be symmetric to x-axis so now as you can see here sketch is fully constrained so we can finish the sketch and now let me see what is the dimension uh, you can see here 27.6 is the extrude so what i'll do is i'll go to extrude here and we can just give symmetric value it is 27.6 so 27.6 and it should be okay let me keep it as a none and i'll just click okay so now uh, whatever the extrude we have done we need in all the places so what we can do is pattern feature so this feature i just wanted to pattern and specify the vector and this is my center point and count and pitch so count will be 4 and pitch will be either 90 degree yeah okay so you can just click ok so now as you can see here whatever we have created we have been patterned it so now i need to subtract them so go to subtract and select these bodies from this body i want to remove this and this these two okay you can just click ok so now as you can see here uh, whatever we have 
in our drawing so we got this so now we are left with some of uh, you know edge blends so what i will do is i will just uh, unite all these things so go to unite and select this and i want the send cylinder and click ok so now we can see here uh, this radius is 1.1 so let me give this radius as 1.1 go to edge blend and give 1.1 as a value and go to select these edges okay and now uh, you can see the edge blend over here uh, which is a radius of uh, 4 so let me give radius of 4 here so edge blend and 4 or here or here in the same way on all the sides okay so i'll just click ok so now uh, you can see here uh, this edge blend is uh, not mentioned anywhere so we can assume it as a 4 mm and we can just give 4 mm so go to edge blend and 4 mm is the value so you can see on all the sides we can just select them okay so we can just click okay and whatever uh, this uh, radius we have is uh, 1 mm so we can see here this is the 1 mm radius here so go to edge blend and hit 1 mm and start selecting this okay so why this has been stopped here okay so you can see here this edge we have missed to select so let me go to here and select this edge okay so now again go to edge blend and 1 mm is the edge and radius and select this now okay same thing we have missed here as well okay yeah so i'll just go to edge blend again and hit 1 mm start selecting this okay so you can just click okay <coughs> yeah so now we are left with the one uh, ex some more extrudes so now as you can see here this is an extra you know uh, cylinder over here so this dimension is given as 33 uh, diameter so let us draw that uh, circle so go to sketch environment on this plane and draw a 33 mm radius of sorry diameter of circle so finish now and uh, whatever the width it is given as 37.5 so let us go to extrude and select this a sketch and this is 37.4 37.5 okay so it should be united so go just go to unite and click okay so this is the cylinder we have got so now uh, whatever the cylinder everything is gone now we need to cut this section so once you do all the operations then only we can able to cut this so always remember when you are doing a part modeling uh, whenever the models should be whatever unite it be there uh, complete unite you can do and later you can just uh, remove the material so that is the better way so now what i'll do is i'll just go to extrude and keep it as uh, static wireframe and now let me switch on this sketch okay so this slot i wanted to select so i have selected 
and now it should be removed subtract and symmetric value so let me give the value so that it will so that it will cut all the model so now as you can see here uh, this is our complete model so if you want uh, you can see uh, the model over here so this is the complete model we have so this is how we can do guys so if you have any doubts please comment in the section below and try to answer thank you guys